Hey family, today I want to highlight some of my artwork, some of my prints that I have available. And the reason why I uh, want to highlight why it's really important because images are worth a thousand words. Pictures are worth a thousand words. So when you see an image, the subconscious mind picks up the imagery quick, okay? And it filters through the mandula oblongata, which is higher learning, which is the base of your skull, in order for you to store the memory um, correctly, okay, for your higher ascension. Okay, now this first piece I want to highlight is, is called True Currency. Now, the way I do my artwork is one picture has multiple images. It's like two pictures in one, maybe three or four. Like this picture here, right? If you see this, this is like a little girl, right? It's like she was in class, which is in black and white. Now she comes out of her class. This is in her imagination. Through her third eye, she creates her own world, turns to a bird, then this turns to a world, okay? Now it's in her higher self, she is the Buddha. She is the higher self, she is the sage, okay? In her higher self, she, this teacher is also a sage coming to learn from her higher self. So she's actually the teacher. And then from up here, everything is mimicking everything down here. Okay, it's like a temple. You got the, the Buddhas going to the temples, the sages. And you also have, it represents a flow of life, okay? It represents the flow of life. And up here, because this is her world, she created a portal, okay? And this portal is like the golden uh, waterfalls coming down. It's everlasting. But this is called true currency. Now, if you look at the image itself, you will see the dollar sign. This is what it truly means. So it's like it's showing you the true currency is your imagination, okay? Your creativity, your view, your focus, your vision, the more you start to see things before they happen, things will start to manifest and you'll understand how your true currency is inside of you. You are the gold itself, okay? Now, this second picture is called the playground. Now, this picture has a little girl, okay? She, it's a little girl and... It's like she's looking at her mirror. She's looking at her ancient self, her higher self. Okay, so if you flip it this way, you'll see how she connects back to ancient Egypt. Okay, and also everything is mimicking the other thing. For instance, up here, it's like the scales, where it's the heart weighed against the feather. Okay, and you see the feather up here. Okay, the heart here. And basically, in the playground area, it's the tire. Okay, you know how people say, well, I'm tired, I'm tired. The reason why they're tired is because their heart is not light as the feather. This is why they're tired, okay? So everything is mimicking itself in the deeper aspect, even the playground itself. This is a play, okay, that we agreed to come back to. And she's centering herself because she's putting her feet on the ground, okay? in this play that we're in so she can know who she is. This is excellent for children to see this imagery so they can understand why they're here at a very early age, all right? Now this next piece is called True Selfie, the real selfie, okay? Now this really, these people really love, they love all the sketches, they love this one because this is representing the time that we're in. Okay, if you see this, this woman here, she went up to the mirror. She took a selfie of herself. But as she took the selfie, her true self steps, is stepping out of the mirror and is getting rid of the game, the chessboard. The doors are opening. Opportunities are happening. She's going, it's like the chessboard is going back to the essence. It's like dissipating and going back to the source where there is no games. Okay. The wind is blowing. Time is stopping. Okay. There's no more time. This is where we're at. This is actually the time that we're in now. I made, I, they made this piece about two years ago. And people that have seen this, especially the original two, 
they said, wow, they, they, they could feel the vibration and they knew that this is real. As you can see, all the barriers, all obstacles are being, it's like just by her presence, it's like the golden light, her essence, she's getting rid of all obstacles. This is who she truly is, though. She's amazed because it's like, I knew who I was. This is the real reason why I go to the mirror to see my true selfie. All right. Let's see. This next piece is called the inner child. Now, the inner child represents becoming one with nature. And she, you can see this little girl, she's at peace because she is also one with nature. The animals, the birds, the trees, everything around her, even the, the deers, everything around her is peaceful. It's like the deer represents gentle but strong. It represents uh, coming out of the shadows, appearing out of nowhere. Okay, you turn it this way. You see, this is her true richness. This is Kwa Yin. It's like the, the on the other side. Or your higher self, everything is vibrating beyond what we can conceive, okay? So it's like in the other side, everything is illuminated. It's turning to go. This is her true self. This is why she's at peace because she's one with nature, okay? Also, what I want to say is on these, you see these orbs? I actually put on each print, I put... Uh, I grind up rose quartz crystal, okay, and I made it into a powder, and I put it inside of the paint, okay, this one and this one, okay. I put it inside of the paint because rose quartz crystal deals with unconditional love. It's dealing with opening up your inner child within yourself so you can find peace, so you can master everything that you need to in this test, this game of life, all right? Now, this last piece that I want to showcase is called um, the heart is the key. Now, this is our life itself. OK, if you as you can see right here, each piece, like a reminder, each piece has multiple meanings. The more you look at the picture, you'll start you will like train your mind to see beyond it. OK, now this piece right here, you'll see. These two people traveling, okay, they're going down the mountains like in, in the wilderness. They're going down the mountain and they're going up these different layers. Now, as the layers go up, it gets it gets easier and easier. Once they get to the top, it's like they go into the center of their heart, okay? When they find peace within the center of their heart, you see the valves of the heart, okay? It's like you 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 transmute and turn into your higher self, your light body. They're going into higher altitudes, they're at peace, they turn into light bodies, okay? And then when you turn it this way, this is who they are. It's like you turn into your pure, the great mother. And the great mother, as you see, she's holding the light in her hand now. She is the light, okay? Her third eye, because she is in tune with everything, it illuminates the way for others on this path that are coming. It's like a sage in the spirit form that is uh, putting out a vibration that people pick up on when they go to certain locations. So as you can see within itself, it is the key. It's saying your heart is the key to life. It's like follow your true heart and everything will come in fruition, okay, on a cosmic and physical, spiritual vibration. And it'll be in sync with everything around you. It'll be a natural equilibrium. Everywhere you go, you'll find peace and you'll have angels to assist you on this journey of life. No matter where you go on the planet, inside, interstellar, outer stellar, multidimensional, everything is one, okay? So I just wanted to highlight these uh these prints, because these prints are designed to train the mind to see beyond the veil, to make life a lot more easier for you, or make it more peaceful, tranquility, zen life, okay? 
and also to make you see ultimately behind everything that's in front of you and understand it's an essence that's controlling everything physical. All right, family, just wanted to drop this short video and I want to wish you peace and love and surrender to who you truly are at this time, okay? Because it is, it is needed and we are here to be the example of life itself. All right, family, love you. Peace.